Hello, I'm David Kerr and you're watching Shalom World News. Here are your latest news headlines from around the globe. A sacred chalice once used by the terror group Islamic State for target practice has now gone on display for veneration in churches across southern Spain. The chalice, which is still peppered with bullet holes, was rescued from a Syrian Catholic church in the town of Karrakesh in northern Iraq. It is now being cared for by the Pontifical Charity Aid to the Church in Need, who exist to highlight the plight of persecuted Christians around the globe. They are currently taking the sacred vessel around parishes within the Diocese of Malaga in Spain. In doing so, says the charity, they hope to highlight what Catholics in Iraq and in many other countries have to suffer for their faith in Jesus Christ. Islamic State took control of northern Iraq in 2014. The persecution of local Christians and the destruction of churches quickly followed, with an estimated 100,000 fleeing to safety elsewhere in Iraq and around the world. The terror group was driven out of northern Iraq in 2017. Mother Teresa of Calcutta is the patron saint of the 20th century. That was the claim of the Vicar General of the Indian City's Archdiocese, as he offered Holy Mass to mark the 110th anniversary of Mother Teresa's birth on August the 26th. Father Dominic Gomez celebrated Mass at the tomb of Mother Teresa. He described how she changed the world due to her conviction that touching the broken bodies of the poor was the same as touching the body of Christ. For her, said Father Dominic, work was contemplation in action. Born in Albania in 1910, Mother Teresa became a nun when she was only 18. In 1950, she founded the Missionaries of Charity, giving her life to serving the poorest in the slums of Kolkata. She died in 1997 at the age of 87 and was canonised by Pope Francis in 2016. Back to the Pontifical Charity Aid to the Church in Need now, who have unveiled a three-pronged approach to helping those most badly affected by the COVID-19 pandemic in Lebanon's Zali region and Beka Valley. The Eastern Territories are among the poorest in the Middle Eastern country and are home to many refugees from the civil war in neighbouring Syria. Now Aid to the Church in Need are set to do three things in response. Firstly, they are creating a COVID-19 test centre in the Tel Chiha Hospital in the city of Zali. The hospital is an apostolate of the Greek Melkite Archdiocese of Zali and Furzal. Second, Aid to the Church in Need will supply urgent basic necessities including hygiene articles and food parcels, to 2,000 of the neediest families in the region. That's in response to a request by the Greek Melkite Archbishop, Isam John Darwish of Zali. Lastly, aid to the church in need will support 100 families in the parishes of the Maronite Diocese of Baalbek and Deir al-Amar. Both the Greek Melkite Church and the Maronite Church are Eastern Catholic churches in full communion with the See of Rome. Meanwhile, the Knights of Columbus are donating a quarter of a million dollars to help those most badly affected by last month's devastating explosion in the Lebanese capital of Beirut. The night's gift was handed over last week to Bishop Gregory Mansour of the Maronite Eparchy of St. Maron of Brooklyn in New York. He will now oversee the division of those funds among various nominated Catholic aid agencies and charities. At least 178 people were killed in the blast near Beirut's port on August the 4th, with over 6,000 others injured. Some 300,000 people were left temporarily homeless. The Supreme Knight of the Knights of Columbus, Carl Anderson, described the present situation in Lebanon as a great tragedy which merits the prayers and full attention of the world. The Vatican have confirmed that World Mission Day 2020 will be observed this year on October the 18th. The announcement was made on Friday by the Congregation for the Evangelization of Peoples. They said that the celebration of World Mission Day serves to keep an essential dimension of the Christian faith alive in all the faithful. World Mission Sunday was instituted by Pope Pius XI in 1926 to encourage Catholics to contribute to missionary works across the world. Finally, the Diocese of Aconry in Ireland has a new bishop. He's Bishop Paul Dempsey, who was ordained to the Episcopate on Sunday. The ordination took place in the Cathedral of the Annunciation in St. Nahi in Balakadarin in County Roscommon. The principal consecrator was Archbishop Michael Neary of Tum. The co-consecrators were Archbishop Jude Thaddeus Okolo, the Apostolic Nuncio to Ireland, and Bishop Dennis Nulty of Kildare and Leyland. Bishop Dempsey is 49 years old. He's a native of County Carlow. He was ordained to the sacred priesthood for the Diocese of Kildare and Leyland in 1997. He's since served in various parishes across that diocese, as well as Diocesan Youth Director and Vocations Director. 
His Episcopal motto will be Duke in Ultum, or Launch Out Into the Deep, which is Christ's command to the Apostles, as recorded in the fifth chapter of the Gospel of Luke. Congratulations to Bishop Dempsey and Miltos Anos. Well, that's all for now. Do join me next time for some more headlines from around the globe. Until then, may God bless you. Shalom.